During times of uncertainty, it's comforting to know we have a healthcare system in our community that's been committed to supporting us for well over a century. In this current time, we are standing together and our bond is stronger than ever. KDMC, caring for our community like no one else can. You know, really neat win. Uh, first time part of this rivalry. Uh, you know, you could feel the energy from our fans. I can even imagine what it'd be like if it was full. Um, our players with that great sideline energy. Uh, we didn't play great. You know, really thought we should have, you know, opened the game up there um, at the end of the first half and scored in the red zone to whatever that was, make it 28-7, I believe, at the time or something. Um, but instead didn't score, and they went down and, and scored their, um, you know, 90-yard 90 90 yard drive. So, um, you know, great to come across with a win. Just wish we would have played cleaner and better. And um, so, but happy for our fans, happy for our players, you know, Thank God that, you know, he gave us a chance to play. A lot of people aren't getting to play, and so remind our players of that today. You know, um, after church this morning with them, you know, um, not everybody's getting the opportunity that you are. So uh, good to get the trophy back where it belongs, and let's keep it here for a long time. Nick starts off. Lane, just how crucial was that fumble on the one-yard line in the first quarter? And turn around to kind of that's a 14-point swing there in a game that could have been tied early. Uh, yeah, it really was. Um, obviously, big momentum swing. almost scored um, on it. So, you know, that was huge. And, you know, a lot of really close plays that were reviewed today. And, um, you know, that's what happens in robbery games. Usually records don't matter, and they're very competitive. Um, I was concerned, you know, that we'd struggle in this game. So that's why we brought Knox here. And, um, you know, I think every time you come, we win, right? No. No? What game do we lose? Florida and Alabama. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, maybe if you get a haircut. <laughs> Good at you know. Joe, you're unmuted, but we can't hear you. All right, maybe not, Joe. Try Paris right now. Well, I'll have to watch the film for that. Um, as you guys know, kind of on that side, I'm kind of making adjustments. So sometimes I don't see all the plays. and um, But <clears throat> um sounds like he did some good things. But I'll have more for that, um, more on that Monday. Go back to Nick. You talked about the red zone a little bit. Just Was there a common theme you were seeing, or was it just a couple of plays that went wrong? Well, I mean, the first one, the ball's right in your hands, you drop it. So, you know, I don't. It's nothing they did, um, you know. Huge momentum. We go, they go three and out. You know, we're going to go right down the field, um, you know, and score there. And you know, we drop it. So, um, you know, big. You know, I think three, three possessions in the red zone where we only got three points out of all three. You know, would have made the game a lot different. Go ahead, David. Got me. You've had an unusual progression, I guess, of open dates to have to deal with this late in the season. Um, you know, how, how do you keep them sharp? How, how do you keep them sharp uh, knowing that they're not going to have a game next weekend and uh, you still got two big ones left to play? Yeah, it's almost like we play, we don't play, we play, we don't play. Um, so, you know, we talked about it today, you know, just finding that out. So not sure exactly what we'll do, but probably similar to last week. You know, can't really treat it as a bye week and, you know, give them the whole weekend off because they need to keep playing and keep this momentum. Go to Nate. Coach, uh, Elijah Brook, AJ Brown's single season receptions record today. How impressive is that? And not only breaking the record, but doing it in so few games, doing it in SEC only slate, all that. Yeah, it's really amazing to whatever eight games to do that in eight games. Um, all SEC opponents, you know, I when we first got her, I sat him down after watching his films. Hey, you know, you're going to break the, you know, SEC record. 
you know, not just a school record, but the SEC record. Well, I thought we were going to play, you know, 12 plus a bowl game. So um, it really is amazing. And he, he's just a great player. You know, he was cramping at the end, stayed in there. And, you know, it was, it was awesome, especially, you know, after what happened last year. Go back to Parrish. Ryan, how important was uh, Dean Leonard's pass break up there in the final minutes to uh, force State into the field goal at that time in the game? Yeah, it was huge. I mean, think about the end of the game had it been the other way. So, you know, you always feel different when it's seven versus three. And so, you know, if it had been a three-point game there at the end, that would have been really scary. Um, so, huge play. But we got we to gotta get better at four-minute, you know, on offense, just like the Auburn game, which cost us, you know, we need one first down to win the game today. Back to Nick. Just how do you think your players responded with that post-game celebration? What was the locker room like? I mean, winning the rivalry game for the first time in three years, how big was that for some of these veterans that hadn't won yet? Um, I mean, I don't know. How many years had it been? They hadn't won yet, you said? 17. Oh, OK. So I didn't even know that. Um, I think it meant more to them than me, you know? And so I was excited we won, obviously. Um, but, you know, they've, they've been there. A lot of them growing up here, so you know, it kind of kind of means more to them. But I was excited, obviously, after the win. But then to see them in the locker room, you know, it was like one to you know Super Bowl, uh, which which is neat to see them so excited. So they put a lot of work in to get to this point.